Hi there, I'm Shanna Kramer. This is paper bag painting number three. Daddy cat. All right, first thing we're going to want to do is sketch. This cat is really simple. It's just broken out into simple little shapes. A football, a couple more footballs, a big uh, cat body. All right, let's get started. So there's my football. Cat's head is uh, at a pretty good angle. Skinny little neck, just about the center of the canvas. Hourglass shape, is that kind of what it is, maybe? Yeah, there we are. So let's finish off that football shape now. bigger. Okay, any extra lines we'll just paint over, it's not a big deal. Make sure that's tall enough. Ears. Eyes. Nose, about the middle of that head. Nose is a little upside down triangle. And remember our angle is going to be this way now. So when we say upside down, this is down. Big old kitty smile. Just draw the angles for the eyes to start with, just so we know where to make our footballs. And these cat's eyes are simply football shapes. We're just repeating shapes here. Head is a football, eyes are a football. Nose is a triangle, ears are triangles. And the neck and body are big wavy lines. A little rounded tail. Just let the pencil flow. And there's the basics of our cat. We'll add a couple of little arms, <laughs> front legs, kitty paws. And somebody asked me once, why doesn't this cat have back legs? They'll interrupt the flow of the painting. Okay. A couple more little football shapes for those cat's eyes. And we'll call the sketch good. I've got Benzie Yellow, Australian Sienna, Cad Red Light. A little bit of white over there as well. Okay, I'm just taking my small angle shader. warming up my yellow a little bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint in the whole cat. If you're one of those um, advanced planners, <laughs> you want to mix up all of your color at once, you can go right on ahead and do that. I, uh, however, prefer to mix my paint as I go. Um, sure, it's a little bit harder to match previously used colors, but I think blending the paint on the canvas is one, one way to bring a little bit of life into your paint painting. Um, it's just, it feels more vibrant if the colors blend on canvas visually instead of actually physically blending on your palette. All right, now we've got a couple of ears on that kitty cat. Big long 
cutie neck. These are some pretty um, liquidy paints. I'm using either soft bodied acrylics here or fluid acrylics. The yellow is a fluid. I guess I do have one um, heavy body paint and that's the, uh, the, red, the cat red light. Careful you don't stick your hands in the wet paint. I'm being way too careful about these edges. If you go over the edge, you know what? You're going to cover it up with background anyway, so don't really worry too much about it. All right, onward. We'll try a little bit of some warm color and I have a medium this time to thin out my heavy bodied acrylics instead of water. Just adding a little bit of a warm shadow down here to between the cat's legs, just to help give a little bit of a definition to that area. I don't want to go overboard. Any orange will do. And now we'll fill in the cat's tail. This is the name of this painting is Dandy Cat. I was in the studio one day with somebody and I said I was looking to do a new painting and uh, I asked her, which do you like better, cats or dandelions? And she said, why not both? Why not both? So here we have Dandy Cat. It's got both cats, a cat, and dandelions. Kind of the 20 questions game for inspiration there. What's your favorite color? Turquoise, mine too. All right. Now we've got the cat filled in. Let's move on to the background. So my background colors, I'm, I have this turquoise, I have this blue, and then the green. Uh, the turquoise, I'll be using cobalt turquoise, another fluid. And the blue will be uh, phthalo blue. To get this green, we'll be mixing in the yellow. So I'll just grab another dot of yellow for over here. And I might also need to mix in some white with that. But I'll wait and see. All right, for starters, big brush, turquoise. Already I want white. This turquoise is very transparent, which is fine. That's good if that's what the look you're after. In this case, I want it to cover up a little bit of background, have some body to it. So, that's yeah, it. Simple. I have a very smooth background here. Our painting surface, I should say. This is. Uh, it's 300 pound hot press watercolor paper. Hot press is the smoothest watercolor paper you can get. And then it has two coats of gesso. And I just have a stack of these that I've made up around here that I use for just uh, small, simple little paintings or test sheets or whatever I need to. And they're just pretty handy to just keep a stack of them around. They're a lot thinner and easier to store than canvas although they do have quite a bit different painting surface. So just beware of that is 
being aware of that is helpful when painting just because I know I have to use really smooth brushes. I'll do another video soon of how to match up your materials for the best results because if you're using a texture brush on a smooth surface it might not be the best. If you're using a soft brush with a heavy bodied paint that's also not going to work very well. So look for that in upcoming weeks. Basic background done. I'll add our texture colors to it. So the, the uh, phthalo blue will bring in from the top and that's just bringing some nice streaks down just to uh, anchor the painting a little bit. There, blend in some turquoise. I really like this thalo blue and the turquoise together. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. There, get a little more nice blend in there. I'll have to come back with some uh, white. You always gotta keep, keep an eye on whatever you're painting when you're color blocking like this. You want the yellows where the yellows go, blues where the blues go. Insides, the lines has never been my strong suit. <laughs> there. All right. And then I will mix up my green down here at the bottom. For this, I know I'm going to need white. And I know I'm going to need yellow. Just mixing it up right there next to the, uh, there we are, next to the turquoise. And if this gets too dark, Also, it can help to just stop and blow dry so you're not sticking your hand in wet paint. I'm just going forward here. Hands in wet paint away. Adding a little more blue into this green here, just uh, give it some depth because my, my blue is going to be my background color. There, kind of the shadow color for the, for the grass. There we go. And then I can come back with some a little bit more yellow, a little bit more white, and then give that grass some depth. Get the paint, blue paint out of the brush here a little bit. More thing we're going to want to do while we have this white and yellow on the brush. We want to make our dandelions. So I've got one dandelion that goes about right there, and another one right about there. So I'll start at the dandelion and then pull my stem down. So that's marking where they're going to go at least. Hold the paper down and this is just tap. So you can flatten out your brush as you're picking up paint. You can get that nice kind of chiseled edge on the edge of your brush. Thin it out if you need to. And it's just little taps out from the center of that dandelion. Pick up more paint as you need it. 
try a little bit more of that medium. See if that helps. Want a nice smooth color? So we're not actually painting lines, we're just tapping with the edge of the brush, making the brush do our work for us, basically. And the brush makes the lines. Okay, a little bit more medium. And then I'll come back over to the second dandelion, the fat stem dandelion. <laughs> and maybe a little more white too. Brighten it up. You don't have enough white, it's just going to get lost in the background. White is your opaque color. It's going to help uh, cover up what's behind it. If you paint a transparent color over the top of anything, uh, it's just going to get darker because you're adding paint that you can see through. You're just multiplying color. With uh, opaque paint, you can brighten, darken, you cover the background as you add paint. white here, brighten it up. I'm not really worrying about what color exactly I have in here. You can see my white's pretty dirty. The goal is to have it lighter than the color behind it. That's it. So behind it, I've got that light yellowy green and over the top, I'm adding that white. Dirty white, doesn't matter. I'm not giving this a lot of dry time, so some of this paint is still wet, but it is uh, very, the air is very dry today, so it's still drying more quickly than usual. use the back of the brush and a liquidy paint. That's important. It has to be a liquidy paint. So here's my white that I was using that's mixed in with that medium, the blending medium, which by the way, the blending medium is just a, an acrylic glazing liquid. Satin is the finish on this one. You can get them in matte, gloss. paint on with the end of the brush like this. You're just going to have to keep picking up new paint. So make sure you have enough mixed up when you start. It doesn't take much. Onward, a few more little details. I've got the light turquoise in the back of the eyes that I want to add, and that'll be add a little bit more white to my palette here. We don't, we aren't going to need a lot. Actually, maybe I don't even need any white. I'll take a little bit of what's there, a little bit of that turquoise, a bit more turquoise maybe. hard part. Keep your hand out of the wet paint. I'll just rotate it here so I can get a better angle. some pure blue for these centers of the eyes. Okay. 
cute little kitty. And the eyeliner, which is a nice little finishing touch on those eyes. Again, flipping it around just for uh, and getting a good angle. And lead with the skinny edge. All right, I think we'll go with the nose details first. And then I can come back to the eyes if I need to, which I think I probably need to. There, that's my, I want a thin, thin orange. And this is a cad orange that I'm using. Cadmiums are very, very opaque. And thinning it out doesn't necessarily make it transparent. I mean, certainly more so than out of the tube but mostly it just ends up looking a little globby. Opaque colors are meant to be used pretty solidly. white on here too. Take my other little brush here and some white paint. I know I've got some touch-ups. For example, this ear where I went a little overboard on that background color. So I'll just Get a little bit of white in there. And I'll just drop it in and let it dry. Also, I've got a highlight here. Well, I'll do highlights later. Okay. All right. Just some little touches, just to help define the little kitty here. Again, rotating the canvas, it's fine to do that. I mean, if you can look at it right side up and be able to paint correctly every time, good for you. That's a very important skill to uh, to, to, to acquire. Um, not everyone can do that. Although I do try to keep the, keep the canvas upright. Okay, I'll redefine those legs. Looks like they're getting a little lost down there in the grass. Okay, and back to my white. Now I know I have a few highlights. For example, this kitty's got a nice bright white highlight going right down the nose. And we've got a nice highlight going right down the middle of the neck. Even up the centers of the legs. Mixing some white with some medium now, just to get get it a little bit thinner. Turn it into more of a mixing white. There we are. More highlights over here. Go with some highlights on the top of that tail.
And let's see, we have a few other kind of important highlights. We have those uh, whiskers, little kitty whiskers. Smallest brush you have is the right one to use for this one. If you have really long bristles, that will hold more paint. So that's an even bigger bonus. Some little whiskers sticking out of the top of the, oopsies. Might need some more white paint here. I know it's just a little tiny bit that I need, but running out. It's also pretty important you don't run out of paint. Okay. All right, the other method of the dotting. Just use your bristles. Nice and easy. Get a few more dots out here. Like the kitty sneezed. <laughs> Maybe not quite like that. You want to go around those eyes with a little bit of blue. There we go. There could be a few more details in here, but those that's the uh, basic technique of Dandy Cat. Thanks for watching.